My name is Marvin Meyer. I am the Grisette Professor of Bible and Christian Studies here at Chapman University. The scholarship that I am engaged in focuses really on the texts that come out of the ancient Mediterranean world, especially new gospels that come out of the sands of Egypt. The Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the Gospel of Judas, uh, these remarkable texts that really are revolutionizing our way of looking at early Christianity. One of the great fortunes of my life in scholarship has been the opportunity to work on the Gospel of Judas. Here is a text that was discovered under very mysterious circumstances in the 1970s, and it's written in the name of Judas Iscariot, who was infamous for being the one who turned Jesus over to the authorities. So I've had the chance to work on this, to translate this, and then to interpret this. Some folks thought that he, in fact, might have been the closest disciple uh, to Jesus. And, and that has allowed us to reconsider who Judas Iscariot actually might have been, and to reconsider the whole story of the betrayal. I am delighted to engage students with these texts because from students, sometimes the issues that come up are such important issues that they are the ones that need to be addressed in my writing. There have been a few students over the years who have had the kind of knowledge of, of Greek and Coptic that is needed, and we've worked together on translations. There are students who have worked on particular problems uh, with me, and I give them full credit in publications. There are some that have gone on and have given papers at conferences. There are plenty of opportunities for undergraduate students to move ahead uh, in this area. To take on an ancient text that has not been known, sometimes for millennia, uh, is a very large responsibility. His or her voice has been silenced because of the burial of the text, but he or she had something to say. And so to be able to allow that message to be given again is very exciting. Part of the legacy of Chapman University is a commitment to those humane disciplines that ask the big questions and explore literature, explore traditions uh, in order to find out how have people addressed issues of life and death and light and darkness, good and evil. An educated person really ought to be able to ask and address uh, those kinds of questions and to see the options. These kinds of exciting conversations take place precisely at Chapman University.